Hi guys, recently I made this sushi rice, which I used to make three different maki sushi, or sushi rolls, and eight tamari sushi, or handball sushi. I did have little rice left over, so I probably could have made a couple more handballs. This recipe should make a little bit more than a kilogram, so adjust the quantities if you like. Start by adding 120 milliliters of rice vinegar to a saucepan over a low heat. Then add three tablespoons of castor sugar, and one tablespoon of sea salt flakes. Then whisk to dissolve. The gentle heat will help the salt and sugar to dissolve, but you definitely don't want this to boil. That'll distort the flavor. Then set it aside to cool. Now add 450 grams of Japanese rice or sushi rice or short grain white rice to a sieve and wash it really well for a few minutes under a running cold tap until the water that's running out of the sieve runs clear. Then transfer it to a saucepan and add 540 milliliters of cold water. Now set it aside for a while. 30 minutes is best, but you can leave it overnight as well. 30 minutes later, I place it over a high heat to bring it to the boil. Then clamp the lid on, turn the heat down to low and let it simmer for 9 minutes. Then take it off the heat and let it stand for 15 minutes, but don't take the lid off. 15 minutes later, pile your cooked rice into a wide, shallow dish. Pour over your now cooled seasoned vinegar and stir it up with a wooden spoon, making sure that the rice is evenly coated in the vinegar. Try not to break any of the grains of rice here as well. Now you need to cool the rice quickly, so I'm going to fan it with a light chopping board, but you can use an actual fan or the cool setting of a hairdryer if you like. Stir it up occasionally during the cooling, and once it's down to room temperature, you're then free to take it and make any kind of sushi you like. This can also be made a day in advance, which always helps. Thanks for watching guys, hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you enjoyed the video. You really should consider making sushi yourself at home because it's not as daunting as I thought. The full recipe is in the description if you want to check that out and you'll find loads more recipes like this over on my blog www.rookiecook.org.